Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Shane Skeen. Today we're back with another video. I've waited a few days to make this video because I saw a comment a few days ago asking for a class setup video and I wanted to wait till season two dropped to see if there are any nerfs or, you know, buffs to certain guns. Um, unfortunately, there wasn't any. I've read a few websites looking at the patch notes and I haven't seen any changes to the guns. I've played around with a few things and I really haven't noticed anything different. So everything else is the same, but we're going to try and get at least 10 class setups in today's video and then go over some extra little things at the very end. So without wasting any more time, if you are new to the channel and the studio does help you, please make sure to drop a like, subscribe. Thank you for all the recent support. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, let's start. So before we get into the class setups, I want you to ignore these two guns on this class. We're going to be going over all the perks and the extra equipment and stuff like that first, because this is the main stuff that you're going to be running on all of your classes. I know perks and stuff, you know, they seem kind of boring pointless but believe me they do actually help you a lot and in certain situations they could save your life so um getting into it i always run the stim shot or the stun grenade flashbangs are terrible so don't even like try those out and swap them out for the stun grenade you want to use this or the stim shot um, if you are a very aggressive player like how i am i would recommend running the stim shot just because if you do get in a gunfight and you get weak you know you can just pop this thing and then you're basically at full health in like a second or two um, for the lethal, I'm always running the frag grenade or the semtex. This is just because on certain maps, the semtex is better than the frag. and certain maps, the frag is better than the semtex. Um, you can throw the frag farther than the semtex, but the semtex also can stick to things and get those people camping in corners a little bit easier. So this is kind of preference um, what you feel is, you know, you're better with or what you think the map is better with. And then also you want to run the field mic. I've tried out a few things in this field upgrade category. Really, the only other things that you could probably use are either the proximity mine or gas mine, and then you just kind of place them down if you plant the bomb. Um, personally, I just like running the field mic. It's basically like just a mini UAV for however many seconds it lasts in like this big area, and it can actually pick you up um, a lot of kills if you use it right. And then obviously, you want to run perk greed so you can have all six perks. So now getting into the perks, we got flash jack, attack mass, assassin, tracker, and then ninja and spycraft so there's a few things you can do on this one you can take off spycraft and put on ghost or you can just leave it at this you always have to run ninja though i've said this in a ton of videos ninja is what you know makes you good in search you're silent you move quietly you know it, you can sneak up on people it's just a good perk all around um spycraft is cool because you're basically immune to like everything in the game gas mines proximity mines field mics jammers you're basically just it's like ghost on roids basically just without you know not being immune to the uav the reason i like running spycraft better than ghost is because i don't really play against people that get too many uavs if i'm rushing and killing everybody they're not gonna get their streaks that's just how it is but um yeah either run ghost with ninja or spycraft with ninja all right now that we've got that out of the way we're going to be going over all of these class setups that you see on my uh, screen right now, as well as some other things at the end. Also, if you want to see any of these guns in action, you can also probably find a video on my channel pretty easily. I think I've done a video with like every gun in this game, so just search my channel. You should be able to find it if you want to see how good these guns are. Um, also, a majority of these guns are going to be like underrated guns and things that not many people use but are still good. Just because you guys already know the best 74U class, you already know the best AK class, the best stoner dmr etc you guys already know what the best guns are there's no point of me reiterating and wasting your time with the things that you already know maybe at the end i'll go over them in case you guys for some reason don't know as well as some bonus things but uh yeah so the first class i got is the mac 10 now with this new update you can't get the mac 10 from the battle pass anymore i believe you have to do some like challenges i'm guessing it's like 15 kills with something in like 15 different games that's usually how they are in this game um, but it is worth your time. This gun is super good, shoots really fast, and absolutely lasers people. So getting into the setup, we got the Agency Suppressor, the Reinforced Heavy Barrel, Field Agent Grip, 53 round Fast Mag, and no stock. Um, I don't like the Raider stock just because it decreases hip fire accuracy a little bit too much. And sometimes if you are rushing with this thing and you need to spray at somebody, you're not going to kill them because your hip fire accuracy is so bad. Um, also, you want to make sure to be running the 53 round Fast Mag just because of how fast this thing shoots. You will run out of ammo extremely fast. And one more thing, you guys may be wondering why we're not running the Task Force Barrel. We're on certain guns, the Task Force Barrel ruins them. Um, and this is a good example. The Task Force Barrel on this gun gets rid of ammo as well as increases the recoil on this gun ridiculously. You can literally shoot your clip and your 
your ADS or your, you know, your sights will literally go to the top of the screen. That's how much recoil this thing adds. So the reinforced heavy barrel is basically the same exact thing, just without the recoil. Um, getting into the second class setup, we got the XM4. So you guys know if you are subscribers, I absolutely hated this gun. I talked a lot of shit about this gun. But now I think I've done like two or three videos with this gun. And it's changed my mind. I actually really like it. It's one of my favorite weapons in the game now, especially because it has zero recoil. And it can just absolutely laser people, um, you know, if you have the right setup. So I'm not a fan of the iron sights, so I use the Microflex LED. If you do like the iron sights, just take this off and put on the Raider pad. Or you can put on the So Culminator. Want to pick one of those if you do want to use, you know, the iron sights. But if not, I like using the Microflex LED. You can use any of these things that you like, but this is just my personal preference. Um, once again, the reinforced heavy barrel, the Task Force barrel, just destroys this gun just like the MAC-10. So make sure to use this barrel. Um, field agent grip. 50 round fast smack and airborne elastic wrap on to the third class setup we got the m16 now i think i did a video a couple days ago with this and the aug um so this is kind of like a two in one the aug and the m16 in this game i build them in the exact same way so if you want to try out the aug just use this setup on you know the aug so getting into it we got the vision tech 2.0 the strike team barrel the field agent foregrip airborne elastic wrap and the raider pad um, you want to use the strike team barrel because you get damage and you get fire rate. Uh, the task force barrel gets you that damage, but it does not get you the fire rate. And that fire rate is what makes this thing good, especially in those close range interactions. So like I said, if you want to use the AUG, just take this setup and apply it to the AUG. Um, On to the fourth class setup, we got the M60. So we got an LMG today. Um, you guys can check out a video. I did a video with this and I dropped 24 kills on Nuketown with it. Um, this thing is an absolute beast. It is a bit slow when using it. It's an LMG, you know, that's that's how the drop off. But this thing is like a two or three shot from any distance. Um, no recoil and absolutely beams people. So getting into the setup, we got the agency suppressor, the task force barrel, the field agent grip, airborne elastic wrap, and the radio pad. The cool thing about the LMGs is that the task force barrel does not add any recoil. So you get that damage, you get that bolt velocity, and you get that damage range basically for free, which is awesome. Um, same thing as the last one. You can apply this class setup to any of the uh, LMGs and it will be super good. Um, some of the LMGs, I might take this off and put on a site if the iron sights are terrible. But as far as this goes, this is what you want to be running on all of your LMGs. Um, on to the fifth class setup, we got the KSP. Now, a lot of people don't like this gun. Um, personally, I it's okay, you know. Some of my highest kill games in this game have come with the KSP, surprisingly. Um, even though it's a burst and it's an SMG, it still absolutely destroys people. I'm more of a fan of automatic weapons, but like I said, this thing's still super good. Plus, it can one burst if you are close enough. So we have the SOCOM Eliminator, the Task Force Barrel, the Field Agent Foregrip, Airborne Elastic Wrap, and the Raider Pad. You don't have to worry about recoil on this gun because it is a burst, so it's not going to be too crazy. So you do want that extra damage and bolt velocity just to help you in those close range as well as uh, far range fights. Getting into the sixth class setup, we got like a sniper and shotgun class setup. So you're getting a two for one right here. Um, this is the Tundra class setup. If you are a sub or you've seen me play, this is the class setup. I'm always running with my Tundra. Um, we got, I don't know why I had that on. It's Stabilizer, Tiger Team Barrel, um, 7 round mag, airborne elastic wrap, and the raider pad. Now they did recently nerf the tundra. I believe they nerfed the tundra and the pellington. And they reduced the ADS speed by a little bit. But they did add damage so you don't get as many hit markers. Um, I've messed around with the tundra after this nerf. It's not terrible. It still zooms in relatively quick you know, for the amount of damage that it's outputting. Um, I still personally like it over the pellington. And then getting into the street sweeper setup. I've done two videos on the street sweeper. And I don't think I've put the class setup in the video. So... This is a little extra thing. Um, we got the Agency Choke, the Task Force Barrel, 5 out Laser, 15 Round Drum, and then No Stock. Um, I like running on the No Stock just because you get that sprint to fire speed and your hip fire accuracy doesn't drop off too much like how it would if you're using this Marathon Stock. Um, on to, I think this is the 7th class setup. I don't know if I've lost count. We got the uh, FFAR. Now, this is a very good AR. I've done a few videos with it. Um, shoots very fast for an AR and can laser people with the right setup. Um, however, the recoil is a little bit tricky. So for this class, you want to run the SOCOM Eliminator, the Reinforced Heavy Barrel, 
the field agent grip, 44 round fast mag, and then the airborne elastic wrap. Um, this gun runs out of ammo super fast, so you want to have that 44 round mag. And same thing as before, the task force barrel on these guns um, absolutely just destroys them, adds too much recoil. So you're going to want to earn that reinforced heavy barrel. Now the recoil pattern with this gun is a little bit different. It kind of goes like side to side rather than up. It kind of goes like up and to the right, I guess. Um, some of the you know other guns don't do that. So this one can be a little bit tricky, but once you get it down, it's really good at range, really good close range, and it will absolutely fry people. And then finally, we got the Pellington setup as well as a Magnum setup. Now, I think I have a video coming out with the Pellington pretty soon, so you guys can see that in action as well as a video I've already done in the past with the Pellington. So same thing as the Tundra Stabilizer, Tiger Team Barrel, 7-round mag, Airborne Elastic Wrap, and Raider Stock. And now we got the Magnum setup. We got the SOCOM Eliminator, the Task Force Barrel, 12-round uh, Fast Mag, and then obviously Dual Wield, so you know you can shoot both of these things and basically one-shot people. So now that we've gotten those ones out of the way, if you guys don't know, the AK-47 and the AK-74U are the best weapons in the game. So we're going to go over those really quickly if you guys want those, just because I know you've probably died to these things and you're probably like, whoa, what is that gun? It's so good. So um, we're going to speed run these for the AK-47. we got the Gru Suppressor, VDV Reinforced because the Spetnaz RPK Barrel takes off ammo and adds a ton of recoil. Spetnaz grip, 50 round fast mag, and then the Gru elastic wrap. Um, as far as the AK-74U, it's basically the same exact thing. Gru suppressor, task force barrel, uh, Spetnaz grip, 50 round fast mag, and then the Gru elastic wrap. So there you go. Hopefully you guys can uh, go destroy some people with those. If you are new to the channel and this video did help you, please make sure to drop a like, subscribe. I know it was all over the place and I kind of talked fast. I didn't want this video to be too long, but I wanted to give you guys as many class setups as possible to help you guys get better. Um, like I said, if you are new, I do play Search to Destroy. You guys can check out my videos. If you want to see any of these guns in action, I have a video with almost every gun in this game. Um, playing Search and Destroy, we drop a lot of 20 bombs, so make sure to check that out. But uh, yeah, anyway, like I said, if you are new and this video did help you, make sure to drop a like, subscribe. Thank you for all the recent support. I appreciate it. My name is Shansky. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.